Welcome to Scrapbooking Beautiful Layouts by Locky Creations. Hey friends, it's Locky Creations back with another scrapbook layout. Today's layout will feature this ice cream die cut that I cut out from my Silhouette Cameo machine. I'm going to do a shaker element on the top part of that ice cream. I've also cut out several custom die cuts on my Silhouette Cameo machine. And I will not be using all of these, but these were some of the things that I considered using. I've selected four photographs of my daughter and I at an ice cream festival, and the color scheme came from this photo that shows the yellows, purples, and blues. When I was cutting out my ice cream, I also decided to cut out these hibiscus flowers that you see using the cut and print feature on my silhouette cameo, or excuse me, print and cut feature. I will not be using these on my page, but I did wanna cut them out, and I actually have finally learned how to do a pretty flawless print and cut on my cameo by making sure that those registration marks that you see there are inside the print area. So as long as my graphic is inside those registration marks and the registration marks are inside the printer, you should be able to get a good cut and print like this. And I'm just explaining there how your image and your registration marks need to be within your print area. I did leave a tiny little white border around those and that's why you see that at the bottom and top of the image. But for the most part, I got a pretty flawless cut. So that's one way that you can use to do your embellishments. Okay, so now let's get started. I'm going to assemble my ice cream. So I'm just gluing down the bottom base of my ice cream drip and gluing on the blue patterned paper. That's gonna be the top part of my shaker element. So I'm just gonna focus on the area that is not backed with any printer paper. Now when I use the shaker element, of course it will be raised up. So I will need to go ahead and use foam tape. So I'm selecting some sequins that I will be using to back my shaker element. And most of those will be purples and pinks and iridescent colors. I will later go and put a couple blue. I'm gonna be using about a quarter inch foam tape that was purchased from Dollar Tree. That is the exact size of my shape, but I will be cutting that down. So I've gone ahead and grabbed a clear acetate sheet that I'm going to just trace around with a purple marker. And that's gonna just allow me to be able to glue that acetate piece onto my ice cream backing. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that and then I'm going to cut that out. And the reason I use the purple marker is because I'm using a purple shape so that if any peeks out of the side, it will not be very noticeable. So I'm cutting out that shape of that clear acetate. And if you don't have acetate, you can use sticker packs that are left over. You can also use the packaging material. There's a number of different things you can use to create your shaker elements. You can also use vellum, but vellum will have a frosted look. So whatever you choose to use, you want to have something to back your shaker element. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down and start to create my shaker. So I'm just trimming the edges here a little bit just to make it be a nice round cut. So the, the vellum that you can use, if you do decide to use vellum instead of using the acetate paper, just know that you would get a frosted look on your shaker. And that does actually give it a nice look. So I am going to glue down my shape. And now I'm applying that clear acetone acetate piece to the front of my shaker and smoothing it down with my brayer. And I'm just dabbing up some of the excess glue and brayering it again, just to make it nice and smooth. And I'm just trimming the little imperfections off. 
So this is the top base of my shaker element. So once I get that glued down, now I'm going to go ahead and take my foam, popped up foam adhesive, and I'm just gonna cut some out and I'm actually gonna split that quarter inch in half because I don't want it to be so wide that it shows up behind my shaker element. So I'm just applying very thin pieces of that popped up foam adhesive to the perimeter of my shaker element. Now I am going to need to also use my anti-static pouch. So you'll see me here in just a moment grab that and that's just something that you want to do anytime you're working with acet acetate it just takes off that stickiness to allow your sequins or whatever materials that you back that shaker with to move freely so now that i've gone ahead and take that static out which is just baby powder inside a little pouch that i sewed i'm removing the backing and now i'm going to apply those and i love these sequins they're actually easter theme and I love that they have those little bunny rabbits so I'm just adding in a generous amount of those and then I decided that this is pretty but I do want to bring in a little bit of that blue so I'm just grabbing a couple of sequins from this blue pack and adding in there as well and that really really made a difference so now I'm just backing my ice cream cone and there you have it there is the shaker ice cream cone element and that turned out very lovely. So I have decided now that I'm gonna pop up the whole entire top of my ice cream cone, including that blue area where I have the ice cream drip as well as my lighter purple cone. And I'm just throwing away my excess little materials in that little blue garbage pail, which, or excuse me, that red garbage pail, which I love. Okay, so with the thin little pieces of my foam adhesive, I am backing just the perimeters of the bottom ice cream cone just so that it can stand up to that same height as my shaker element just to give it a cohesive look. And in hindsight, I probably could have, if I really wanted to, I could have actually made the bottom ice cream base a shaker as well, but some of that's going to get covered up with my photos and embellishments, so I didn't feel I needed to do that. I just really wanted to focus on that top part of that ice cream cone to be my shaker element. So I'm going ahead and popping up tape, and there you have my shaker element. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to place it just a little bit left of center. So now I'm just trimming down my photographs, and I don't feel it's necessary all the time to have your photographs be in one size. It's your page, you can do whatever you want. So I'm going ahead and placing my photographs where I want them to go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and trace my ice cream against my white base piece of cardstock, which will be just the area where I do some very gentle mixed media. Now I'm going into my Distress Inks and Oxides, and I'm just picking out three colors that correspond with the colors in my layout. And I just want to just, just add a little bit of color with my, using my sponge daubers, to the perimeter of the ice cream, just to have some color peeking out behind my ice cream cone. At this point, I'm just getting all my materials ready to start my mixed media. So with each of those daubers, I'm using some packaging material and a little water, and I'm just gonna daub a little bit on. And I don't really have a rhyme or reason here, I'm just going with it. And so I'm using the packaging, using water spray, and using the dauber to just add color around the perimeter of that ice cream cone. Not worried about the center, because the center won't be seen. So I'm liking the way that this works. I am also going off a little bit to the side, as you can see, because I will have those photographs. So just to have a little bit of color behind the photographs on the left and right, I am just going over with color. So I'm alternating the 
with the blue and the green and the yellow ink and I'm gonna just keep on adding more color and water and blending it together until I have just the color scheme that I want of this mixed media I did decide that I want to add in some purple speckles so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my purple shimmer spray bottle and I'm going to remove the nozzle and then I'm just going to drop down some splatters in that purple and I'm opening that up now and just giving it a little shake and here are my purple splatters being added now when I first put those splatters down it was a very very deep purple and I was starting to get worried but of course once I got my paper towel roll out and daubed up the excess it faded some of that dark purple and it was just the color that I wanted I just wanted a few more speckles so I am adding a few more and I will repeat that process with rolling it off with my paper towel roll and I really like the way that turned out so my base page has been created so I am satisfied with that so I'm just taping down my shaker ice cream element to my page and using my brayer to smooth things out now I'm bringing back my photographs and I am going to select some paper to be my photo mats and the paper that I pick out will be a paper that incorporates the pinks and purples and blues and I first thought that hot pink paper but that was a little bit too dark so I actually grabbed this page which is a Christmas sheet but no one will know because I'm really just going to add just a very very tiny border and I am going to rough those edges of each of those photos up using my distress tool so first I'm going to just go ahead and place those pictures down on my sheet then I'm going to cut them out and again trim them so that just a tiny little edge peeks out and once I do that you're going to see me here in a second roughing up the edges with my Ranger distress tool these photographs again are of a event that my daughter and I attended this summer summer 2022 of an ice cream fest now the interesting story behind these photographs when the whole ice cream listeria outbreak ha happened we were pretty close to where that happened so uh, because that was going on I did not feel comfortable eating actual ice cream so we actually got snow cones and enjoyed snow cones at this ice cream fest so that was something that you know was a pretty serious situation and we definitely uh heart goes out to anyone who was affected by that but my daughter is a very avid ice cream lover so we could not resist the chance to go to an ice cream fest but however because of the listeria stuff that was going on we didn't want to take a chance eating that ice cream because you know it's really really close to where we were at so yeah, we just, we just had nice snow cones. And it was a sunny day, so we just enjoyed those snow cones. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I've placed my photographs where I want them to go. So I'm just backing uh, some of them up on foam tape. And the other ones, I'm just going to use a regular tape runner to just adhere them in place. And I want to go ahead and put them down because I'm happy with the placement of where they are currently located. So I'm just putting them in and I like the way that the roughed up edges looked. I thought that was a good move. So once I get my photographs put down, I'm just working with my title. At first I thought I was going to use that black border for my title, but the black against the purple just did not look good. You can't see it very vividly. It looks very Halloweenish. So I did abandon the back border of my photos, or excuse me, of my title. My title for this page is going to be Sweet Summer. And so I have cut that out also in my Silhouette Cameo machine 
on this purple glitter sparkly paper or cardstock. And I'm using my ruler just to make sure I put it somewhat straight on my page. And just use my paper towel to dab up the excess glue. And again, I'm putting my summer word right below that sweet. So again, that's just is going to give it a nice title and another pop of purple color. So I'm just being very careful to glue down each one of those letters. Now that I have gotten my title almost glued down, my next step will be to continue my embellishment and apologize for my belly being in the camera there. Okay, so I'm just putting my clear stamp block over my title just to hold it in place while I dry. Now, when I created this ice cream truck and this cocktail embellishment, I really like them, but as I place them on my page, they are really large and they take up a lot of room. Because I have a lot of photographs, I don't want to crowd the page. I do want to leave some negative white space so I am going to remove those and not even end up using them on this page so I do like those purple hibiscus and I do them in pairs of three so I'm just placing them around my ice cream cone in my photos and I have these little ice creams and popsicles that I cut out but I only had two of them so I'm just cutting off that ice cream on top of the ice cream truck and because the other two are backed in black paper I'm just gonna back that one in black cardstock as well just so that I have three cohesive shapes and I really really like this I don't want to go over the top of my embellishments again I have a lot of pictures and so the problem that I sometimes face is that I want to add a lot of pictures but I want to have art and so it's hard to prevent it from being too busy if you're using large photographs but you always also want to do mixed media and do embellishment so I try to stay away from adding too many embellishments on a page that has a lot of pictures just because I don't want it to be so overly busy okay so now I am just going ahead and adhering everything down with either the glue or propping some of the shapes up on foam tape and I'm liking where I am so far one of the things that I think I need to do is add some bling so you will see me adding in these little rhinestones just randomly dispersed throughout the page and I'm happy with that that just gave it a little bit of sparkle and I'm going to use some Nuvo drops also. I'm just adding some lines with that purple marker in for where I want to do my journaling. And I won't do the journaling while I'm uh, showing this video, but I will go back later and add the story of how we did not eat ice cream at the ice cream festival because of the Listeria outbreak how we had snow cones. So I'm adding some Nuvo drop drops in that lemon yellow color that ocean blue color and then this purple uh pop dots which is a different brand they aren't as great a quality as my nouveau drops because they kind of plop down and they dry with the pointy edge but i'm adding them in as well i'm also adding in a few drops of shimmer and there you have it here is my final page so the layout turned out really pretty with that ice cream cone and that pretty shaker element. And I like the way that this page turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more content to come from Lockie Creations.